Our first caller is Maria from North Carolina. Hey, Maria, how can we help you? Hi, guys. Thanks so much for having me. So right now I train five days a week, uh, three by myself and then three with a trainer. Uh, so I am currently training um, weightlifting, Olympic lifting with him. But I want to um, do or follow uh, my own program, one of your programs, actually. I'm trying to see if I can buy one of your programs uh, during my days off with my trainer. Um, but I don't know if that's going to take away from my training with him, uh, with the Olympic lifting. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Okay. That's a good question. So now I don't know your trainer. Um, I'm going to assume that they're doing a good job. And no program that you'll find anywhere online is going to be as good as a individualized personal trainer. So what I would do if I were you is I would follow the instruction of the trainer. Now, if you want to add something to the training, I wouldn't add one of our workout programs. What I would add would be something that would focus on correctional exercise and mobility. So MAPS Prime Pro is something that can be added to any workout because it improves yeah. connection, it improves mobility, it improves your ability to move more effectively and efficiently so you get better results with the workouts that you do doing or that you are doing. But aside from that, I would focus on what your trainer wants you to do because I used to have clients that would do this sometimes. They would train with me and then they would go off and do other stuff, not knowing, not for any fault of their own, but not knowing that they were actually countering a lot of the work that we were doing together. Yeah, Maria, how, how mad would your trainer be that you're asking this yeah. question? Yeah. And does he listen Barry? to us? I yeah. hope he doesn't see this. I'm sure he would be. <laughs> this used to piss me off when clients did this, okay? Yeah. So, and here's why. If he's a good trainer, which I hope he is because you hired him. Yeah, and, he's amazing. He's okay, very so, good. Okay, so if he's amazing, then you probably don't need to add anything to your programming. And if you were going to do anything, it would be to address maybe some mobility stuff or priming like Sal's alluding to, which is that that's not a standalone program. That's that's designed to complement any program. So yeah. that that makes sense. But as far as any other exercises, training wise, strength or anything, I mean, well, if he's done a good job, you shouldn't you shouldn't be adding anything to it. It, it might be helpful too to I mean obviously to, to introduce them to the podcast, but also like we have a program like maps anywhere where it's something, if you're traveling uh, and you have limited options in terms of tools and things like that, that could make sense. And then he could be find a way to program that in with his program and he's already doing with you. Um, but yeah, yeah you, you don't want to compete with what you already have going on. You want to kind of work together. So communication is one of those things that, uh, you know, is going to go a long way if you kind of tell him what you're thinking of and then he kind of goes through our stuff. Now, Maria, do you have Maps Prime Pro? I don't. No. Oh, okay. I want you to check in your right pocket right now. <laughs> it's, 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 we just it was we, under the last we, person's chair. Yeah, now. Yeah. We just gave you Maps Prime Pro for free. <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna send that over to you, so you'll have free access. Okay. Okay. Thank He's you. He's really guys. into magic. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, problem. Yeah. Not, for, forgive him. It's that's, not in your pocket. Call our customer service. Yeah, that's so. the beauty of digital programs. Yeah, <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> thank you, Maria. Thank you. Yeah, um, I mean, here's the I would be so pissed. Here, look, here's the bottom line. <laughs> this okay. used to piss me off. As no, a no, didn't this used to piss you off as a trainer? Well, yeah, I, because I, they don't know, right? Dude, how many trainers have we pissed off? I mean, yeah. probably a million. But this yeah. is this is the problem: is that people don't know, right? That's why you hire someone; they're the expert, and you don't understand the intricacies of workout programming and what they're trying to accomplish with you. Yeah, and if they're good, they're doing a great job. And here's the deal: this is the bottom line. The three of us. We trained people for decades. This is what we did. And uh, we know the value of a really good personal trainer. There isn't a workout program in the world that's made for masses of people that yeah. will ever compete to an individualized I workout. I just find this so interesting, though. Like, what any other profession that you hire to, to handle a part of your life, say a financial advisor or- you I know. bet financial advisors hate well, this, too. Well, yeah, I'm sure yeah. they get this a lot. Oh, I mean, how pissed is hey, he? Hey, by the way, right? I, by the way I took 10 grand and bought Bitcoin. I, yeah. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> right, right. Like, I, listen to the radio. I, I just like, don't, I don't, I, if you if you hire somebody who's a, especially if someone, I'm assuming if this guy's teaching Olympic lifts, he probably knows. I mean, I don't even like to teach Olympic lifts because I don't think- Olympic per, lifting per, per trainers enough. tend to be really good. Yeah, I mean, and really good yeah. with, like, we've talked about programming. Like, right. so he probably has a vision in mind. I'm trying to get this girl really good at, you know, these lifts, right? right here and so anything she could do outside of that could totally fuck up that process so yeah. 
You know, if I ever had, remember the clients used to do this too, used to piss me off. Like if I had, I, they'd train with me and then I'd catch them in the gym like an hour later I or something know. doing more exercises and they'd be like. Because they think it's like extra credit. It's going to do well, better. Well, or that, or they, because they didn't feel they didn't sore, sore enough. enough. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't get sore enough exactly. or sweat enough. So they assume that they could have done more. Dude, and it's like, that's not good programming. Common. Good programming isn't leave you crippled all the time or hurting or sore all the time. Good programming, you should see progress and actually not feel all okay, that shit. Okay, now, now be honest here because I know early versions of early trainers that we were, there were definitely mistakes we made and there's a lot of ego when you're an early trainer. Did you guys ever get the client who always complained about not getting sore? So you said, all right. So yeah. one day you just blast them. I'll take you through a workout and show yeah. you how sore you can get. Yeah, I would do it as a teach a lesson, but yeah, they would never be. Time. I would never fall prey to getting in or fall in that trap as a coach thinking that I, I need to compete with other coaches that are willing to get you sore. I'd explain to them, listen, if you just want to get sore, yeah. Go you don't ahead. need a trainer at all. You don't. You don't. Just go yeah. do, and don't do whatever. bang your head against the wall. You get really sore. Do whatever you want. But yeah, a good... And a good program is taking into consideration your rest days and the other days. You start throwing things in there, and you you screw up a good program. So, yeah, I mean, I would I would say stick with what this guy's probably teaching you. Um, but then, absolutely, Prime, which I think is a great Prime or Prime Pro, which are assessment and mobility tools. You add to, that to anything. Yeah, it's designed to complement anybody's workout.